What's going on YouTube? This your boy Teddy B. Blackman Reactions and I'm here with another reaction video today. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the top 10 strangest meal requests, last meal requests from inmates on death row on the eve of their execution. So allegedly these are the 10 strangers. So we're going to see what uh, kind of appetite people have. You're allowed to order, I think, whatever you want as your last meal. So we're gonna see what kind of appetite these people got, man, but right before they're put to death for heinous crimes that they committed in their lifetime. So we're gonna get right into it. Y'all know like, comment, subscribe, share, please, all that good stuff. Support the small content creators. And um let's get to it, man. Top ten. Number let's 10, go. Steven Wayne Anderson. Grasso isn't the only one to throw okay. a seemingly random ingredient into the mix when concocting the perfect final meal. Steven Wayne Anderson was a pretty deadly criminal, but his food choices were interesting to say the least. Before his execution in California in 2002, the 48 year old requested two grilled cheese sandwiches, a pint of cottage cheese, a hominy corn mixture, Ugh. peach pie and chocolate chip ice cream, and, well, a big helping of radishes on the side. Number 9. Okay. Peter J. Minio. Right Convicted man. killer Peter J. Minio could give Lawrence Russell Brewer a run for his money for one of the biggest orders ever served on death row in 2004. Okay, Minio so confessed to his crimes and was vocal about being ready to pay the price, but not before he gorged himself on this whopping order. He requested 20 beef tacos, 20 beef enchiladas, Ooh. two double cheeseburgers, mm. a pizza with jalapenos, mm. fried chicken, spaghetti with salt, and a modest dessert of half a chocolate cake, half a vanilla cake, cookies and cream ice cream, caramel pecan fudge ice cream, and a yeah, small this, this right here. Wash it all down, this he also right had two lots of Coke, Pepsi, root beer, and orange juice. Maybe he intended to explore the Henry water, VIII style before facing the music. Number eight, Velma Barfield. Okay, this I'm gonna pause right Godfrey there. I'm gonna pause it right there. That's 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 me right there, y'all. That would be my meal right there. I would gorge myself on the eve of my execution. I would gorge myself like that. That should be number one right there. I don't even feel like we need to watch it. We gonna watch the rest of this, but I don't feel like we need to even watch the rest of this. Nobody's gonna top that meal right there. That was a meal right there. You talk about exiting Earth. That's a last meal you should want to get. That's everything. You know what I'm saying? But let's get back to it, man. Number eight. Number eight. Let's go. And grandmother became known as the Death Row Granny. Velma Barfield was the first woman put to death in the U.S. in 22 years when she was executed by mm. lethal injection in 1982. But not before okay. she was granted one final meal. A cup of tea, a slice of coffee cake, or a fruit scone might be what you'd expect. But all Barfield really wanted was a packet of cheese doodles and a can of Coke. But for a devout Christian old lady who also killed six people, what can you really okay. expect? Uh, right. Number that, that seven, would be my snack of Robert that would be my snack. Harris. When you're ordering your final meal on death row, it's important to cover all bases. And why agonize over which takeaway to get when you can combine the lot? This is exactly what murderer Robert Alton Harris did in 1992 when he requested a 21-piece bucket of KFC and two large mm. Domino's pizzas alongside a six-pack of Pepsi with ice cream and a bag of jelly beans for dessert. Okay. And a pack of well, canned jelly cigarettes beans. for good measure. What a Harris cigarettes. is most remembered okay. for his final words, though, okay. which were, you can be a king or a street sweeper, but everybody dances with the Grim Reaper. Kind of prophetic for a seasoned wow. criminal, don't you think? Number wow, six, Ronnie Lee Gardner. Tough, Plenty of death row criminals have used their final meal as an opportunity to make smart choices, and Ronnie Lee Gardner was certainly determined to make his sitting last as long as possible. He didn't go too okay. overboard on his order of steak, lobster tail, apple pie with vanilla ice cream, and a 7-Up, but he also had another request, to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy while eating. Surprisingly, Gardner was permitted to do so, oh, you could do, with you a combined could watch TV, time of more than 11 hours, this must have been the longest last meal ever. Number five, Philip Workman. Right, Gluttony five, was the uh, last thing on Philip's mind when he requested his final meal. His final request okay. was for a large vegetarian pizza to be given to a random homeless person. But prison officials refused to do so, and he ate nothing. In a surprising turnout, on the day of his death on May 9th, homeless shelters in Tennessee received large amounts of vegetarian pizzas from people all over the country. So at least he did one that's, good that's thought, before his death. Thought, man, Number four, thought, man, Angel Nieves Diaz. Man. 
Philip Workman may have gone hungry because of his strangely selfless request, but Angel Nieves Diaz deliberately turned down his last meal. As he didn't order anything special, Diaz was served the regular Wednesday prison menu of shredded turkey with taco seasoning, cheese, rice, pinto beans, tortilla shells, apple crisp, and ice cream. As surprisingly nice okay. as that sounds, Diaz refused to eat that too, and in his final words he condemned the death penalty as a form of vengeance, but also a cowardly act by humans. Number 3 I'm Ola to a Chandler murderer, bro. You know what For his saying? last meal, he ordered two salami sandwiches on white bread with mustard and peanut butter, and a grape jelly sandwich on white bread with iced tea and a coffee. And with all that bread, it's safe to say, another one bites the crust. But oh, come on. Short link on screen oh and in the description if you feel the need to expose the world to more comedy puns. Look, they got t-shirts on everything, two, that's crazy. Robert Dale Conklin. Oh, my, my Conklin that, clearly had expensive tastes as he requested filet mignon wrapped in bacon, deveined shrimp sauteed in garlic butter with lemon, baked potato with sour cream, chives, and real bacon bits, corn on the cob, okay. asparagus with hollandaise sauce, French bread with butter, goat cheese, cantaloupe, vanilla bean ice cream, right, fancy, and iced tea. Right here, Number one, James Let's Edward Smith. This convicted felon had one of the most bizarre last meal requests ever recorded. When it came down okay. to his final meal request in 1990, all he wanted was a lump of soil. Although some have speculated that he did indeed intend to chow down on the dirt, others have suggested he planned to perform a voodoo ritual as the soil was specified to be the Rekunda type associated with witchcraft. As dirt was not okay. on the list of foods permitted by prison regulation, Smith's request was denied and he was served a cup of yogurt instead which of course is the only reasonable alternative. So, what would you order if you were in their position? And which meal intrigued you the most? Let me know in the comments down below, and thanks for watching. Well, that was very less than stellar top 10. Like I said, I kind of felt like once number eight hit, I kind of felt like I didn't need to even see the rest of the list, you know what I'm saying? Um, if I was to put myself in a position where I would have to be on death row about to be executed, my last meal is, you know, I would get a bunch of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Probably about 10 chicken wings, a, a beef lo mein, a pork lo mein, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a, a stuffed crust pizza, you know, uh, ginger ale, uh, water, apple juice. Uh, probably my top favorite meals, you know what I'm saying? I would have to even probably some honey barbecue wings, some macaroni and cheese, sweet potatoes, you know what I'm saying? Um, just uh, it would be it would be a lot, you know what I'm saying. But hopefully, I never have to, you know, experience that. I ain't gonna try and jinx myself or anybody that I know or whatnot. But um, what would y'all last meal request be? You know, put that in the comment section. You know, like I said earlier, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, support the small content creators that's trying to grow, get bigger. Um, yeah, that was that was that was okay right there, man. Um, uh, people ordering dirt and yogurt, you know what I'm saying? I kind of, I kind of thought it would be like a super crazy list, but you know that's that's decent. And this your boy Teddy B. Blackman, reactions, TV, retro games, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll holler at y'all later.